First tonight at six, a former South Carolina sheriff on the wrong side of the law. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, in Marble County, Charles Lemon is officially on trial after a Queen City News investigation led to his arrest. Lemon was at the center of our lost trust investigation and video shows the then sheriff ordering a deputy to use a taser to shock an inmate several times inside the county jail in May of 2020. Someone inside the sheriff's office later destroyed that body cam evidence before our chief investigative reporter Jody Barr obtained the recording. Jody joins us live in Florence tonight where day one of the Flevin's federal trial just wrapped up. And Jody, what did happen in the courtroom today? Well, Brian, you know, short of the verdict day, this is probably the biggest day. We had opening statements today and the prosecution coming out swinging, putting their lead hitter up on the stand this morning. They put uh, former deputy Andrew Cook, the man who pulled the trigger on that taser, on the stand this morning to testify against the former Marlboro County Sheriff. But I'll tell you this, though. First, the prosecution in its opening statement described former Sheriff Charles Lemon as a lawman who abused his power and authority inside the jail that day when he ordered the tasing of an inmate but the defense says this is all about getting a dangerous man to comply that day saying that the feds are now monday morning quarterbacking the split second decisions charles lemon and deputy andrew cook had to make that morning inside the marlboro county jail but this is all about a use of force question did Lemon and Cook go too far? But there is agreement though between the prosecution and defense. Both sides agreed that the first two taser strikes were justified that morning. But uh, the, the government said strikes three, four, five, and six were unjustified and that Gerald Johnson was actually getting into his cell trying to comply with the orders from Lemon and Cook that morning to get into that jail cell. Now, one of the two men charged in this case does agree with the prosecution, and that is Deputy Andrew Cook. Cook is keeping up his end of the plea deal here, testifying against his former boss, Charles Lemon. He was on the stand for most of the day today. Back in January, Cook pleaded guilty to this civil rights violation, admitting that he and Lemon both went way too far that morning in the Marlboro County Jail during that tasing. Cook says he was trained that a, you use a maximum of three taser strikes in an incident this morning. He admitted that that day in May of 2020, he used six strikes against Gerald Johnson. So Jody, I have to ask you, uh, you've been covering this case for a while. Did we learn anything <laughs> new from Cook's testimony? Well, first off today, Cook admitted that he was testifying for one reason. You know, under this plea deal, he had to testify. And he told the jury this morning, yeah, he was testifying to curry favor with the judge at his own sentencing. He also testified that the Marlboro County Sheriff's Office had no use of force policy or a taser policy the day that this uh, tasing happened inside the county jail. Uh, Cook also testified that Gerald Johnson was cooperating from the arrest till the time that Cook got him into the jail, but that was until Sheriff Lemon got involved. When you can see in that video, Lemon uh, berating at, at one point, yelling at Gerald Johnson when Johnson turned around and lunged at him. And then Lemon uh, ordered uh, Cook, even right before that lunge, to tase Gerald Johnson, and he did so multiple times. Cook, though, told this jury today that he would have never tased Gerald Johnson without the orders from Lemon to do so. And Cook said after those first two taser shots, he said those final four, again, he told the jury, those were not justified. He had no legal reason to, to give those, and he only did so because his boss, who he was looking to for guidance in that situation, told him to do so. Jody, a lot of eye-opening testimony in court today. What's on tap for tomorrow? You'll be there. Yeah, it's going to be a little dry here for the uh, next several round of witnesses. The prosecution, they plan to put up their own expert witnesses. These are use of force uh, people, uh, the Criminal Justice Academy, uh, maybe one, one from another sheriff's office. So they're going to be a lot of uh, uh, technical testimony over uh, when uh, uh, force is appropriate. They're going to analyze this video. The jury saw this video multiple times today. So we'll, we'll keep you covered, though, on, on the day's events. But um, the, again, the biggest witness today, short of Sheriff Lemon taking the stand in his own defense, uh, was Andrew Cook, who admitted that uh, most of what they did that day, they should not have done. All right, Joey Barr, wrapping it up for us. Thank you so much. Out of Florence, we appreciate your reporting.